Let's take a look at our first problem type. We get the integral of secant to the fourth of x over two. Secant to the fourth of x over two dx. Now um, there's a couple of different options here. Uh, one of them says that we want to, if you look at your derivatives, for example, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Well, we can either try to get a secant tangent out of this or save a secant squared. And we'll save a secant squared. So secant to the fourth of x over 2 is secant squared times secant squared. Like that. Now this right here, I won't keep writing it, but this we're going to save. We're saving that for a derivative. And um, recall, we got uh, tangent squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. So this first part here, that's secant squared, we could rewrite that as tangent squared plus 1. So we got tangent squared x over 2 plus 1 times our secant squared that we're saving. x over 2 dx. Now this is like the distributive property. We're going to take this and multiply it times that and times that. And we'll split them into separate integrals while we're at it. So this is tangent squared x over 2, secant squared x over 2, dx, plus then the integral of secant squared x over 2, dx. <coughs> now we got a formula for the secant squared here, so that's not a big issue. Um, over here, actually let me go ahead and do this in, in this step. If we let u equal to x over 2, du will be um, the derivative of, uh, this is 1 half x, the derivative of that is 1 half, and then we add on our dx. Now this first part here, I'm going to rewrite the tangent squared as tangent of x over 2 to the second power. Secant squared x over 2 dx. This part right here, um, I need a one half inside, so I'll put a two out in front, and then one half inside. There we go. Now I'm gonna use a different letter here. I used use over there. Um, I'm gonna let w equal to tangent x over two. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we're going to have secant squared of x over 2. But this is the uh, chain rule. So we have to multiply times the derivative of x over 2. So it will be times 1 half dx. Okay. So in this, this part here, I'm going to need a 1 half inside. So I'll offset it with a 2 out in front. Like that. secant squared x over 2 dx and this right here I can go ahead and do my u, sub u substitution this becomes secant squared u du the x over 2 becomes u the 1 half dx inside becomes du <coughs> now over here I'm ready to do my um, substitution so the um, this becomes w squared and the one half secant squared dx becomes dw. Now if we're in this one, uh, the integral of secant squared is tangent. And I'll add on my c. Okay. Now this first one here, uh, we'll add one to our power, divide by our new power. So we get one third w to the third plus and then 2 t 
tangent and u we said was x over 2 up here so I'll plug that back in plus c and this becomes 2 thirds and w we said was uh, this tangent up here so I'll plug that back in so tangent x over 2 to the third power plus 2 tangent x over 2 plus c which gives us two-thirds and I'll put the three inside there x over two plus two tangent x over two plus c and that's our answer <coughs>